This entire residence is enriched with history. What's standing today is not quite the original 18th century build. There was a major fire that struck one day, leaving part of its foundation seriously damaged, which ironically led to this sort of rebirthing, if you will, for an opulent legacy to come. When the Hurst family bought the estate in 1930, the eldest son, George, commissioned Julia Morgan, who at that time was making a radical departure from her typical architectural style. Emulating true Georgian colonial design through a symmetrical arrangement of windows, pillars, and doors on the front facade, this 27,000 square foot marvel defies what our idea of a 27 room mansion should look like on the west coast. Its elegance is simple in that it doesn't seek to impose much grandeur on anyone. When you first look at it, you're entirely taken back. But once you walk inside, you realize that it's actually quite inviting. Elements like the marble stone flooring and Waterford glass chandeliers are often balanced by this broad white space and congruous shape. Many people have congregated within these walls. Many conversations and dinners and gatherings have lived here before. And it would be a shame for those glorious moments to seize any time soon. <laughs>